Hey guys, Sean, Kayak Angler Outdoors. Today I want to do a review on a new pair of boots I got. Hang on and I'll show you what I got. Alright, the boots I wear to work now are a cowboy boot style uh, work boot. And with the warm weather coming, I wanted a pair of boots I can wear with shorts. So I was looking for a pair of lace-up boots. The uh, old pair of lace-up boots I have, I had for um, probably seven, eight, nine years and finally wore through them. So I was looking online and I found a pair from a company called Shepler's.com. Uh, I've dealt with them before, uh, had gotten some pretty good deals. So I found these. These are eight inch lace-up kilty boots. Um, if you don't know what a kilty is, this is the kilty here. This is, uh, I believe mainly today it's for looks, but uh, supposedly it originated in Scotland and farmers used to wear them on their boots to keep twigs, you know, small twigs and grass from building up on the lace because it sits over the bottom of the laces. I don't know if you can see the lace there. Um, and it helped protect the boot and the laces, help them to last longer. Uh, this particular pair of boots is from a company, Cody James. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I never heard of Cody James before, but I saw a couple of reviews. Um, a lot of people seem to like them, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Got them on sale. Um, I forget the regular price, but I got them on sale for around $114. They are a composite toe, not a steel toe, so they are really super light and super comfortable. Uh, I've been wearing these for about two weeks now. Uh, eight hours at work. I wear them outside of work. Um, I'll be wearing these, you know, doing any kind of yard work. They're nice and comfortable. They're leather. They're soft leather. Uh, the tongue is uh, pretty padded. So even if you have to lace them up really tight, it's not going to dig into you. Um, they got regular eyelets, but at the top they got two speed eyelets comes in handy you know be able to tie your boots faster but just really really comfortable nice thick rubber sole electrical hazard rating uh, non-slip like I said I'm wearing it for a couple of weeks they're really comfortable but there they are my new boots Cody James 8 inch square toe I don't know if you can see but there's stitching on the toe like a cowboy boot and there's some stitching on the kilty as well and these actually look like my cowboy boots, almost the identical toe, square toe. But eight inch lace up kilty boot with the square composite toe, really comfortable. If you're looking for a pair of boots, check these out. You won't be sorry. But other than that, that's it. Uh, I've been out fishing a couple of times from the shore. Haven't really done any, uh, seen anything. The one day I saw a whole bunch of bass, but couldn't get them to bite. Uh, I was throwing everything, jigs, uh, inline spinners, crankbaits, soft plastics. Um, I guess like us, they're just sick of this cold weather and they're waiting for the warm weather. But that's it for now. Um, I'm going to try to get out this weekend. Uh, I'm looking at possibly Saturday with the kayak. I'm not sure if I'm going fresh or salt yet. Um, I haven't checked the bay times. Last I checked, the bays were still a little cold in the mid to high 30s. May just stick with fresh water, um, but I will keep an eye on the bay. But anyway, <clears throat> that's it for now. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, tell your friends about my channel, and I know, I've been saying it for a while, I'm getting sick of saying it. Hopefully soon, hopefully soon. See you on the water. Take care, guys.